Hello my friends, today I'm going to share with you a few luxury pieces and types of luxury pieces that I cannot stop buying. It doesn't matter how many I already have in my collection. Anytime I see something new that's just slightly different from the pieces that I already have, I can't resist the temptation. And I used to think it was a cardinal sin to buy multiples of the same item. and. I still wouldn't recommend that you do that if you're just about to jumpstart your luxury collection, but to me, there is a difference, a slight difference, but there is between all the pieces that I'll show you. So without further ado, if you'd like to see the pieces that it would kind of be an understatement to say that I'm obsessed with, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and keep on watching. To be honest with you, what inspired me to do this video was actually me sitting down last night to put my full 2022 wish list together, which if you would like to see a dedicated video on some of the pieces that I am eyeing for the new season, let me know in the comment section or just give this video a thumbs up. But I have to admit that this video will give you a pretty good idea because as I was sitting there putting down all the pieces that I would love to pick up. What I realized is that most of the pieces that I'm eyeing, I already own a version of, which are the pieces that we'll be looking at. So I'm hoping that this video will give me a little bit more clarity in terms of what pieces I still need, what pieces I could use more of, because the pieces that I already have, I know I have already got my money's worth out of. So without further ado, Let's jump into talking about the pieces that I already own, not the pieces that I would still like. And why don't we start with shoes? Because I don't have any shoes here. I'm a strictly no shoe person in the home. So I'll put in some mod shots for you and some B-rolls of the shoes that I'm talking about. But one thing that I cannot stop buying is a white sneakers, which I know is quite controversial. Some of you love the fact that I always have white sneakers on, while others prefer some other shoe choices. I am personally a huge fan of white sneakers with most outfits because I tend to wear a lot of black, a lot of monochromatic looks, and I find that adding just a touch of white with your shoes helps to elevate the outfit instead of dragging you down. I actually prefer, if I'm going to buy a black pair of shoes, I actually like the sole to at least be white or another color other than black because I don't know why, but I feel like it just helps to break up your look and not drag you down. I think it's something that I first saw Phoebe do at Celine. I think she was the first person that I ever saw styling a pair of Stan Smith with a proper formal tailoring look and I loved it so much that I have been doing it ever since and it just really works with the pieces that I already own. Now with that said, I think that everyone needs a nice pair of white sneakers in their collections. Even if you're not going to wear them every single day, they're just a good staple to have. You guys obviously know that my favorite white sneakers are by Hermes. They are the Avanta sneakers, which I don't believe are currently in production. So the the pair that I am eyeing is actually from Celine. I have not found another pair of white sneakers other than the Avantage that I feel would fill that gap in my collection. So I'm going to give the Celine shoes a try and we'll see how I get on with them. But white sneakers, no matter where you get them from, no matter if you buy them designer or non-designer, they're just an amazing piece to have in your collection. I personally go through them a little bit faster than I would like to because I wear them almost every single day. And you would think that the more expensive the sneakers are, the longer they last, but that is not always the case. I feel like if you buy more expensive white sneakers because the leathers tend to be a little bit softer that they use, they tend to crease quite fast. And when you have creases in white leather shoes, there's nothing you can do about little dust and little dirt bits collecting in those creases. So that might be too much information on white sneakers, but all I'm trying to say is that white sneakers are a staple that I will not stop buying anytime soon. Luxury item number two that I cannot stop buying is going to be belts. I have way more belts than I actually need, yet I still want more. There are a couple of new belts that I am eyeing for the new season, but we're going to be talking about the ones that I already have, which Surprise, surprise, most of my belts are from Hermes and most of them are actually a belt buckle. If you know Hermes, you know all about their 
belt system. So if you want to get an Hermes, one of their iconic belt buckles, you actually have to buy it as a set with one of their leather straps. So basically anytime I wanted to buy a new strap, I would buy a belt buckle, even if I didn't want or need one, just because you can buy a strap on its own, but you cannot buy a buckle without the strap. So I thought if I'm already buying a strap, I might as well get a buckle with it. So I have a ton of different Hermes buckles, especially different takes on their iconic age belt. So I have obviously the classic age belt here. I have some that are covered in different exotic skins. I have some more abstract takes on the age like this one, which I really liked for a while. I have some really simplistic buckles and also some really cool ones, which this is one of my favorites, which is their Midor buckle in actually 32, which they no longer do. They not only do the Midor in 24, which to be honest, I much prefer. I am a 24 kind of guy when it comes to the width of Hermes belts. And then I also have some Hermes belts that are a little bit more creative rather than just a belt strap with a buckle on it. So things like the Kelly belt, which I love to look up, but I don't find it the most practical. I do have a video explaining why that is. So I'll make sure to have that video link down below for you. I also have my pop age belt, which I love. I don't actually have it here because I think it should be in one of my jeans because I was just wearing that belt. So I have plenty of belts. And if I never, if I couldn't buy another belt ever again, I think I would still be fine with these, but there are a couple more belts that I am eyeing. And I do think that belts are a great investment piece. Having a couple of belts in your collection is a great idea, especially if you're going to style your belts in different ways. So if you use your belts as an accessory rather than a functional piece, it's good to have a couple in your collection. But I would say to maybe invest in a belt buckle, just one, one, is more than enough and then maybe buy a belt that you can wear in different ways. So something like the Kelly belt or the original CDC belt, which is now back in production. Things that make more of a statement rather than just functioning as a belt is a great idea. But I definitely would not recommend that you go as far as I did because these are not even all of my belts. I think I have more in different spots and different bands. But unfortunately, belts are one of those things that I cannot stop buying because there are two that I cannot wait to pick up for fall winter. Although I must say that they are extremely different from the belts that I already own because yes, some of them are a little bit more subtle, but they are still branded. Whereas the belts that I'm looking at now, even though they are from brands like Hermes, you could never tell unless you knew what you were looking for. Let's move on to talking about a couple of ready to wear pieces, which I won't stop buying anytime soon. And the first one is pretty obvious. It's going to be black t-shirts, basic black designer t-shirts from different brands, which at this point, I would say that I'm kind of an expert in. I think, I don't want to say that there aren't any brands that I haven't bought a t-shirt from, but there must be very few because I have bought and I have tried most brands, plain, simple, basic black t-shirts, but the ones that I always come back to, well, this is one that I was obsessed with for years. I must have gone through, I don't even know, maybe 10 of these t-shirts, which are the really simple pocket t-shirts from Hermes. These have a pocket on the front with a tiny little baby H embroidery that is tone on tone, so it's not obvious, especially if you pick up one of these t-shirts in a darker color. And now looking at it here in front of all these lights, this looks pretty dusty, which it isn't dust. I think I had this tucked underneath an off-white cashmere sweater, which left it quite fluffy. So I better get rid of that later on. So do forgive me if you can see that. But I love these t-shirts. I have gone through so, so many of them because these are such an amazing piece to dress up or dress down. They are made of a little bit of a thicker material, which makes them feel a little bit more formal. So I love these, but the t-shirts that I have been reaching for, which I actually prefer to these is from Prada. And this is their basic black t-shirt that you have to buy. I don't think you can buy these on their own. I think you have to buy it as a set of three. It comes in a beautiful little box and you can choose whether you want all of them in the same color or if you want them to be a mix of different colors. They do them in all your 
usual basic colors. So they do them in gray, they do them in white, they do them in navy, they do them in black, and there might be some seasonal colors. But these are just really, really simple, plain t-shirts that are made of the softest, most luxurious fabric and then they don't have any embroidery or any details on the front instead they just have a tiny little triangle on the back and i am noticing that it also says prada on the back but i mean you're never going to see this unless someone comes up really 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 close to you but this is not the detail i am buying these t-shirts for it's really the cut the fit the length of the sleeve the width of the sleeve everything about these t-shirts is just perfect. So I would say that my go-to at this point for t-shirts, all kinds of basic t-shirts is Prada. If you don't want to spend this kind of money on a black t-shirt, which trust me, I completely understand. I would suggest that you look at the brand Arcade. They do have some great basic t-shirts. There was a brand that I used to love that I think Think has gone out of business at this point but they also had some great basics so i'm not going to talk about them here and then uniqlo is also a great brand for basic black t-shirts the ones that i have from uniqlo are a little bit more oversized but i'll make sure to link the ones that i like down below because they have so many different t-shirts and they're all just slightly different but when it comes to designer black t-shirts I think I have found the perfect one and the ones that I'll continue buying are from Prada. For me to say that I'll ever stop buying these pieces is like saying that I'll never drink water again. It would just be ridiculous because I never ever want to be without these pieces. Honestly, if I couldn't buy anything else other than these, I would be perfectly content. I love these pieces so much, which are going to be cashmere sweaters, but specifically black cashmere pieces from Saint Laurent. I think I have tried most popular luxury cashmere brands out there, but Saint Laurent is always the one that I come back to. They do the best fits, the best cuts, the best quality for the price, which I'm just going to say they're they are a lot more expensive than they should be, but compared to brands like Hermes, their cashmere is beautiful, the quality is great, and they have a ton of different weights of cashmere pieces. So if you're looking for something as a layering piece that's a little bit thinner, they have you covered. Or if you're looking on the opposite end of the spectrum and you're looking to buy something that's a little bit chunkier, again, they will have something for you. But the piece that I always go back to, which I will have to link down below for you because I don't think it has a name. So if you're looking for this piece, which I would highly recommend, it will be listed and linked for you because this is the best cashmere piece that I own. I don't think that I'll ever stop buying these because these are just phenomenal. And looking at this here, you probably wouldn't think that there's anything special to it, but on, there is something about the cut and the way that these are fitted that makes them so unbelievably flattering that I pretty much live in these sweaters because I have a couple of them in the fall winter so you probably get tired of seeing me in this particular sweater but that is one of my favorites. I have some heavier chunkier sweaters by Saint Laurent that are made of cashmere and then you may remember this from last year which I think I picked this up was it in a Black Friday sale? Something along those lines which is the same sweater but it has a deep ripped neckline which i thought was really cool to have in my collection as a layering piece but when it comes to cashmere pieces i'm wearing my latest cashmere edition which is from hermes that i unboxed a couple of months ago maybe anyway cashmere is just my absolute favorite and when it comes to designer cashmere yes the price that can be ridiculous in some cases even unreasonable but when it comes to investing in my collection these are the pieces that are some of my most prized possessions. And last but not least, if you've been with me for a while, this is not going to come as a shock, but as I was sitting here last night, trying to think about the next bag that I would like to put in a wish for, because I don't actually currently have a wish with their bags. I didn't receive a bag. I didn't ask for a bag for my birthday, which was a couple of months ago. Has it been that long? No, I think it's only been a month, but I didn't ask for anything for my birthday so i was thinking that maybe i should probably ask for something for the upcoming holiday season and as i was brainstorming on what bag would be next for me it was pretty obvious that it was going to be a black bag so black bags are definitely something that i will not stop buying anytime soon 
And why is that? I just feel like when it comes to black bags, personally, when it comes to my collection, as long as I have a bag in black with gold hardware, I won't reach for any other version of it in my own collection, like my mini Kelly in black Epsom. Even though I do have a couple of other Kelly bags, I will never reach for anything other than the black bag. The same goes for my Birkin 35. I don't have a Constance in any other color other than black, but I really wouldn't even want one. So for me, when it comes to black bags, they are just perfect. Even though if you ask some luxury experts, even if you ask people that are mad, they'll often try to talk you out of getting your first bag in black. I remember getting my first Birkin in black. I was so set on it being a black Birkin 40 in Togo. And I actually turned on a couple of bags in different colors that were offered to me prior to getting my first bag because I knew that my first bag had to be black even though there were a couple of advisors that tried to talk me out of it. There are a lot of people out there who say that you should not buy a Birkin in black at this point. If you'd like to see a video on that and why that is and what people's arguments are, let me know in the comment section because I don't want to keep you here any longer. But surprise, surprise, black bags are something that I don't see myself not buying any more of. And I think the bag that I'll be putting in a wish for is again, going to be in black. And my friends, it is your turn now. Let us know in the comment section what are the pieces that you cannot stop buying. Are there any pieces that you just find yourself constantly thinking about, using, enjoying, and wanting more of? I don't think that there's anything wrong with buying pieces that you know you will love and you'll use because the biggest compliment, the best investment into a luxury piece is if you buy pieces that you know you're actually going to use and enjoy. So I hope you found this helpful. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I appreciate you being here and watching and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.